Okay, so welcome aboard the Starship Enterprise. This video is going to be just to show some of the um, infotainment features and then the instrument cluster over here. So let me start over here on this side. I'll try to keep this in picture. So or I can switch the different things that I have to um, as my default setting that I could put the clock. This is fuel consumption. I guess that the, also has to do with fuel. The route schedule shows me how far um, I am away from wherever I'm going. That's a music that's playing. Um, this is a compass. And I could I leave it there, miles per hour. If I come over to the center display, I can change what's displayed in there too. Yeah. This tells me how far I am away when I'm driving from, from the vehicle in front of me. I usually leave it on there. This one I can change too. I could do different things over here. Eco display. This thing has a, is a mild hybrid. It's a 48 volt system. So you got to Google that because there's some real cool stuff that Mercedes is doing with the mild hybrid technology. So there's all the stuff I could show. I could see on that side. That's all really, really cool. Yeah, if I go home here, I can scroll through all these and go straight to whatever specific menu I want to go to. This navigation, phone, trip, radio, media. I can do it from here, or of course, and that by the way is controlled on this side with this touch, touch pad on this side of the steering wheel. The left side, on the right side of the center steering wheel, that controls all of this the infotainment stuff so let's start from home hopefully I got it in picture yeah so again I can start away from here this is obviously the phone do all my phone calls from there this is serious radio my navigation system which is really really smart it even tells you when the light is going to change traffic lights I mean this thing is really cool uh, keep going over that song that's playing out, but if I go into media, right now it's on Bluetooth, I could go up top here and switch to a USB device, which I have in my glove compartment. All right, go back, keep coming across, comfort, and the comfort menu is all kind of stuff. Um, for example, seat comfort. I could set some um, seat kinetics. That's basically, the seat will, um, Move and adjust every now and then on long trips to keep me awake. <laughs> that is pretty cool. And seat heating balance. I could put what zones I want uh, more heat on or less heat on. That is pretty cool. And continuing over. Info menu. This will be fuel consumption. If I want to see um, the what the engine, how the engine is performing when I'm driving, I put it on that screen. That's all really, really cool stuff. The operator's manual is in here. Ve more vehicle information in here. And the Mercedes Me apps. In here, settings. This is where I adjust stuff like ambient lighting and all this other stuff. Vehicle assistance. Camera parking, blind spot assist, and all this other stuff that you can adjust in here. This is the drive mode. If I go into dynamic select, I could put what drive mode, or I could do it down here too. There's a switch for that too. This is walnut trim I got all the way around with um, brown leather seating. So that's it for that part of it. I'm gonna do a video from the outside so you guys get, could uh, get a good look at what the inside looks like. <laughs> 